Okay, so we're going to demonstrate today a pars Achilles technique of repair of an Achilles rupture. Now, in this situation, we're obviously using a cadaver. I have actually opened up the region here to be able to see. I've opened up the peritoneum. I did not go ahead and cut the Achilles as there's really no need. It'll help us on this cadaver to maintain traction and not overly so and have something rip out proximally. So I'm going to leave that tendon in place. The whole purpose of this is to demonstrate that the ideal way to do this technique is actually using ultrasound. If it's done without ultrasound, you might actually pass the wire and the sutures and the needles, unfortunately, superficial or deep to the tendon or just at the edge of a tendon. So you really do need this technique to be able to make sure you verify you're in the proper spot. So if we take a look, we can see our Achilles really well right there, very nicely. And we can see actually metal pieces. So Kelly, we're gonna have you fire across the first one. Hold on, hold on right there, stop right there. And there you go, you see it, you can see it really nicely. And you can see that in this case, for the tendon, we are nice, pretty much right in the middle of that tendon. It looks really good. And so that's really a nice shot. So we're gonna go all the way through. Pass the wire. Beautiful, and you can see the suture. You can see the suture, slide it back and forth. You can see it sliding actually, see it sliding? Yeah, you can see it really nicely sliding back and forth. And you can see that we're nicely in that tendon, right pretty much in the middle of it. So let's go ahead and do the next one, number two. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna orient and intentionally try to make you miss Kelly, okay? So if you screw up, it's, it's actually not your fault this time. And so you can see, just bring it across slowly a little bit, Hold on one second. There's our needle. So you can see the needle, right? Kind of jiggle the needle a bit, kind of push it through a little bit, push it through, just stop right there, stop right there. You can see, we are way, 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 way too far away. We're too deep, right? And so if we pass this suture, you're not grabbing the tendon. This would be inappropriate. So if you're pushing down, you'd never really know it. So go ahead and pull that back a little bit, Kelly. Pull it back, right there, stop, stop, stop. Now I'm gonna reorient the jig. Now go ahead and pass it through. Hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. There, see, see? Now, now we're through the middle. Now it's perfect, go ahead and pass it all the way through. Beautiful, go ahead and pull that out. And then you can see that suture right in the dead middle of the tendon, right where we want it. Okay, let's go with number three. Hold on, hold on, let me get to the spot. Once again, I'm gonna make it bad, intentionally. Push it through, hold on, stop right there, stop right there. And you can see it, see it? And take a look. We're way deep to where we wanna be. So that would not be appropriate. I would not wanna accept that. So pull it back a little bit. There you go. And then I'm gonna reorient the jig. And let me get on there. Now go ahead and push through. And boom. Yeah, right there. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Okay. Maybe a little even superficial, but I think it's totally good. Go, go all the way through. You can make an argument that maybe you want to even be a little deeper in that, but I think it's actually good for our purposes today. Looks good. Let's go for the next one. Now in this technique, we're passing four sutures percutaneously, and you can see that there'd be no other way to identify whether you're in the right spot or not. Now I've hopefully made this in the right spot and go ahead and pass that through. And there you go, see it's going through just perfectly. That's great, go. That's like dead middle. Yeah, that's beautiful. Pull that all the way through. Yep, beautiful, great. Equalize that out, the length. Fantastic, okay, now for number five. This technique can use either five, I believe seven uh, possible sutures, is that right, Kelly? Uh, yes, uh, five total and then seven holes to make it happen. Right. You really can pass out as many times as you want. Number five it is. Okay, stop right there. Let's just verify. And yep, once again, dead middle. Good shot, Kelly, perfect. Go ahead and go all the way through and pull it through. 
Great, all the way through. At this point, it's really easy if you want to reset these. Like let's say you did make a mistake, it's no problem. You can just pull the suture out and redo it. It's not a big deal. But you can see as I scan through, there's one, there's four, there's three, there's a two, and then where's that one? There's one right there. But you can always just, you see it's how it's a little bit loose in, in the tendon because it's straightened it out. But it's easy to see them, easy to confirm that you're happy with them or not. You can easily redo any of these to make sure you're in the tendon appropriately. At this point, the ultrasound portion is now finished. And all we have to do now is pull all these sutures through our distal incision. And at this point, you have full control of your Achilles proximally. We now all have to do is pass them under the skin to the calcaneus and then fix them the calcaneus, one on each side, and that will hold it in place to do your PARS Achilles repair. But it's something that I think is absolutely necessary to be done using ultrasound without it. I think this is a very tenuous procedure and unfortunately would be difficult to do and uh, have a high chance of failure because you might miss easily.